The Mayo Lumber No. 3 Shea locomotive is a display locomotive on the upper grounds of the Forest Discovery Centre, and I thought it would make an interesting foreground for a view towards the Alderley Station. But of course my ideas were at odds with the reality of the lighting, and this photograph shows how difficult it is to get both foreground and background properly exposed, and even more so with a moving object in the video. So just use your imagination for the Mayo Shea a bit out of frame in the left foreground. The lit up spar pole in the middle background of this scene is a landmark item in the parking lot entrance area to the BC Forest Discovery Centre. The lighting on the spar pole is the good work of the sponsor Big Star Lights. And beside the pole is the Blodell Stewart & Welch No. 1 Shea locomotive on display with its lighting display done by Double L Electric. Let's take a look at the lighting display in motion. Here's another view of this long upgrade, this time seen from near the diamond with that lovely piece of lit up heavy equipment in the foreground.
I'm set up beside the schoolhouse with the bonfire pit behind me and the diamond and the forest path crossing out of sight to the left and I'm waiting for the train to appear from the right as it climbs the long stretch from down by the duck pond. You can see the detail of this scene in this long exposure photograph taken in the darkness. set up on the other side of the tracks to record the train passing by again and I also recorded a single long exposure photograph showing the light trails of the passing train. Cross the tracks again and I have this view looking through the heavy equipment. My camera is level but these views show the steep grades of the Cowichan Valley Railway. Just off the forest path is this lovely photo nook, nicely framed with a view towards the schoolhouse with the diamond just out of frame to the right. In the foreground you can see the inbound track and the train is going to be working its way upgrade on the outbound track. And as usual I did a long exposure showing the light trails of the train passing by.
During the Christmas Express train events, the Diamond area has a lot of people watching the train because it's right beside the fire pit and really close to the train station. This is a nice view from the photo nook down the long tangent towards Somonos Crossing. In December it's known as Candy Cane Lane and I love this place. Thank you for watching this episode of my Christmas Express series. The Christmas Express was a special holiday experience done in 16 evenings during December 2023. The decorated and lit up train took passengers on a trip on the Cowichan Valley Railway. This is at the BC Forest Discovery Center in North Cowichan on Vancouver Island. This event is a major fundraiser for this center and is the result of a lot of hard work and resources from the management and staff team, the volunteers and the sponsors. I was very happy to have access as a volunteer photographer and videographer visiting on four of those nights. For these 16 evenings in December, the three-car train was pulled by the number 25 steam locomotive, nicknamed Samson. 
This locomotive was built in 1910 by Vulcan Iron Works in Pennsylvania, USA. Although this locomotive never worked anywhere in the forest industry and never worked in any industry on Vancouver Island, it has spent the majority of its life on Vancouver Island, including the past 59 years here at this museum center. During those 59 years at this museum center, up until the end of 2023, the locomotive had been operational for 47 of those years. During the other 12 years, the locomotive was out of service. Usually this was because certificates had expired and rebuilds were required. These multi-year periods of out-of-service absence are a normal thing, especially for a locomotive that's 113 years old.